Hey everybody, it's LogicBomb82 here from the Mature Minded Gamers. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated server for Memory of Mars. It's an early access survival game with building and multiplayer, uh, which takes place on Mars. And currently it's on sale for 10 bucks, which is pretty exciting. It's 50% off. Uh, it's got mixed reviews right now, but they're kind of, you know, kind of higher mixed reviews. It didn't, it didn't start out with dedicated servers. Um, but now they have them, and I'm really excited to show you how to make your own server. This is a great game to play with a small group of friends. Uh, they do have PvP and stuff if you're into that, or it does have PvE, so whatever you like. Anyways, let's jump in. I'm going to show you how to get your server going here. This is our website for the Mature Minded Gamers. We do video game reviews, uh, gaming news. We have a Discord server you, you can join. So if you're looking for a group of mature people to game with, this is it. Um, I'm always looking for new reviewers as well. Memory of Mars, it uses a Steam CMD. If you don't already have it installed, you can just go to Google, type in Steam CMD, just like that, hit enter. It's gonna be the very top link here, Valve Developer Community, click on that. And we're doing the Windows today, so click on the Windows one. And then right up here is the link to download it, click on that. You're gonna to wanna to hit save as, hit okay. You're gonna to wanna to extract the file, which is, I've already done this, but you just wanna double click on it and then it's going to extract it. Oh, sorry. Go to your downloads folder and then you'll see it right here. So right click on it and then hit extract all. I always like to put it on my C drive, which I've already done like I said, but if you look on your your C drive here, you should have a a folder if you don't make one. Mine's called Steam CMD right here. So just hit a new make folder and then extract those files in there. After I do that, I like to create a shortcut and put it on my desktop. So that is right here. And then I can double click on it. When you do yours, if this is the first time you've installed it, all the only file you're gonna see is Steam CMD, which is fine. Go ahead and double click on it and run it. It's gonna it's gonna download a bunch of stuff and it's gonna fill up this folder for you um, with the files. After it's done, though, you'll be at a prompt. The first thing you need to type in is login space anonymous. And then just hit enter, and it's gonna log you in. And once it's done, you, you we're gonna uh, we're going to do an app underscore update and we're going to use the ID for the dedicated server which one other thing I forgot to mention the people at Memories of Mars have done a great job and they had a, a link on their on the disc or Steam forms with uh, a handbook on how to set up a dedicated server really easy so make sure you grab this if you have any questions the video didn't cover this is pretty helpful um, and like I said, it's just not, it's just on their Steam forms. So here's the app ID right here: eight nine seven five nine zero. Oops, let me move it up. Make sure I got that right. Eight nine seven five nine zero. Yep. So once you have it in there, so remember app underscore update space eight nine seven five nine zero. Just hit enter. What this does is it's gonna it's gonna download the server files for you. I already had them downloaded, so you didn't see it, but it'll just take a little bit to get them downloaded. Once that's done, you can just type in exit and hit enter. And that's gonna close out the command prompt. Now what you want to do, you want to go back to your folder here that you extracted. The Steam CMD folder is what I call mine. And you're gonna have a folder called Steam Apps. So you want to go into the Steam Apps folder, and you want to go into common. And now you're going to have a folder right here that says Memories of Mars. And that's your dedicated server files. Click on that. And they've done a great job preparing this dedicated server. It's one of the best ones I've seen so far, to be honest. And I've done a lot of these videos. They already have a runserver.bat made for you. And they have pretty much everything you need in here, which is great. So all you need to do, if you look up the top, there'll be a file called dedicatedserverconfig.cfg. You want to click on that and hit edit. You can edit it with Notepad. I always recommend Notepad++. It's free if you want something that has a little bit extra. And then I put in all my default info here, but this is just where you name your server, put in a password, put in the server ID. Uh, the port right here you can change, but if you leave it at default, you need to make sure you open that port on your firewall um, or your router, whatever you have. If you don't open the port, people won't be able to connect to your server. And everybody's routers are different, so I can't tell you how to do that exactly. I recommend Googling your router model and how to forward a port. And most of them have guides out there that will help you. Um, and you can change the port if you need to, if you already have another server running or something. But if not, these are just the two ports you need to open. 7777 and 27015 is a really common. So 
All right, and then I'm not sure on the map name if you can change the map or not, um, but you know, there's that. You can set max players, enable PvP from here, enable PvP buildings, all kinds of different settings right here. Um, and then once you have it set the way you want and all your settings in there, you just hit File, Save, and then close that. And now you just need to click on the run server.bat, and that's going to launch your server. It may take a few minutes to get um, everything created and booted up, uh, especially the first time you run it, so don't freak out. Uh, you're going to see warning messages in yellow. That's fine. That's common. Uh, what you you know you don't want is a bunch of red messages or a whole bunch of yellow, but that's fine. Just leave it set here, and then once it's done booting, I'm going to show you how to shut it down properly. All right. So once it's done loading and everything, you just you click on the screen here or the window, and then you hit Control C. And that, that does that shut, shuts the server down properly, and it saves your world and everything. If you hit the X up top, it will shut the server down, but it it doesn't shut it down properly. So you may lose data, and it may cause errors and stuff. So you don't want to do it that way. Hit Control C, and this is the restart function I was talking about earlier. It will automatically restart your server if you let the timer run out, or you can press Control C again to quit it, which is what you want to do. It will ask if you want to terminate the batch. Hit Yes, and now your server's done. Uh, the very first method that I showed you, I wanted to touch on one more thing. When you need to update your server, so when they patch Memories of Mars, you just you just go back and you start the process all over again. You run SteamC, run SteamC, uh, Steam CMD, and you just log in anonymous again. Let's do it here, and then you just do an app underscore update and the same number that we did before, eight nine seven. Five nine zero, and then you just hit enter, and that will actually pull down any up any new updates um, for the server when they release them. You just hit exit. Now, obviously, you know there's no new updates right now, but that's all you got to do. That is how you set up your own dedicated server for Memories of Mars. I hope I helped you out. If you have any questions um, or comments, please post them in the channel, and I will try to help you out the best that I can. Please do me a giant favor: hit that follow and hit that like button, and help me grow my community. Thanks, everybody, and have a great evening.